Turkey's done. Now I'm not the best TIG welder in the world, but I use some of this 309L filler rod, which is good for welding to similar metals. This stuff is not cheap. It was like 50 bucks for one pound. All right guys, so I got my turbo installed back in here, situated, got my three port back valve there, and then you can see my existing wastegate. Now this was part of the original problem was the size and or placement of this thing. As you can see it's pretty much just in the passenger side manifold and then the driver side exhaust pretty much just goes right into the turbo. So either this was too small or just placed incorrectly. So you can see it's not really prioritized to the exhaust flow so basically it would need to tilt kind of towards the camera more in order to be position correctly really. So I went ahead and did the right thing and just installed another one and uh, just welded that right on the housing there. Alright guys, so I had the car out at uh, LS Fest a couple weeks ago and I didn't film a single thing. I was just having so much fun talking to everybody and checking everything out that uh, I didn't film anything. I pitted next to some really cool people had fun hanging out with them for the whole weekend. Uh, got to talk to a lot of other YouTubers and stuff. Uh, just to name a few. Uh, Dario from House of Boost. Uh, the guys from Terra Crew. And uh, Dane Thompson from The Burndown. Uh, pretty cool guy. Had fun hanging out if you're watching this. The car went a best of 1101 at 120 miles an hour on about 9 pounds of boost. We'll change around some wastegate springs 
and uh, turn up the boost a little bit next time and I promise to get some footage at the track next time I'm out there. That's pretty much it for now. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys.